It's just a beautiful place. Cute, historic little area. Just under three hours from Boston is Southern Vermont's Deerfield Valley. It is literally a winter wonderland out here. The crown jewel of the valley is in Westover, Mount Snow, open since 1954. If you're driving up from Boston, it, we kind of would call this the first big mountain that you come to. It's got a lot to offer for all types of skiers. Located in Vermont's Green Mountains, Mount Snow has more than 600 acres for skiing and boarding with a summit elevation of 3,600 feet. There are 19 lifts and 94 trails. Today, I think we'll do about 20, 30 runs. I think we're going bold. We try to get here as much as we can. It's a beautiful mountain, we love it here. Tubing is also an option here. People love it, just love it. Mount Snow is one of New England's more popular ski and snowboard resorts. The mountain has four features, including Corinthia, which is completely filled with terrain features. The team over there, the uh, train park team, they're always building different new kind of stuff. So it's just not the same park week over week. The folks at Mount Snow say Corinthia is the biggest terrain park in the east. 125 plus features ranging from beginner to expert level. We've had world class athletes that have ridden over there. Kelly Clark, who won the Olympic gold medal in 2002. She grew up skiing on this mountain. Warm up inside the newly renovated Corinthia Base Lodge. But for Opry Ski, you may want to visit Mount Snow's neighbor, the Hermitage Inn. Champagne and fondue await inside one of two heated gondolas. Cheers, this is my kind of opera ski. The lovely Hermitage Inn sits on 112 acres. Mary Lou Ritchie and Tim Hall of Situate, Massachusetts bought it on a whim in 2021. Call it a pandemic purchase. At some point during COVID, we decided that we were going to change careers. And they did. The married couple who retreated to their second home in the Deerfield Valley during the pandemic sold their longtime insurance company in 2020. And with no in-keeping experience, bought the Hermitage, which had been vacant since 2018. I thought maybe someday it would be fun if we had like a little tiny inn, maybe a bed and breakfast. But that was it. I didn't really think anything seriously about it. So it was just a complete 180 for us. But taking a leap of faith and making the inn their own felt right. Tim and I got engaged there at the inn. So I have a lot of history, just like so many people that walk through our doors every night. Here, guests can relax or enjoy a variety of winter activities, including a dip. For fine dining, there's Birch's Dining Room, and for more casual fare, the Tavern, as well as a private wine cellar stocked with vintages from around the world. The property's culinary program is overseen by James Beard award-winning and Boston area chef Michael Schlau a welcome helping hand. Even though we're familiar with running a business and everything that comes with it, we don't know how to run a kitchen. So that's why uh, we partnered with Michael Schlau and his culinary team. And both of us have the same vision for the food program and the wine program. The 1842 property underwent a two-year multi-million dollar makeover. The 14-room inn spreads across three buildings. From being a guest from all those years, I knew immediately some of the changes that I wanted to make if we became owners of it, and I think we've accomplished that. After checking out of the Hermitage Inn, we visit downtown Wilmington, full of shops and eateries, and head to our next stop in Marlboro, home to Metcalf's Vermont Distillers. The uh, company was founded by my father in 2008. The family owned and operated craft distillery is run by Ed Metcalf and his two sons, Augustus and Dominic. Metcalf's is best known for its liqueur and flavored bourbon. Got up to a dozen different products at any given time, slowly building our distribution from Vermont, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Maine, now even further. Here, visitors can get a glimpse into distillery life. We do fermenting, distilling, bottling, blending the products, and we ship it all out of here. And sample the product. Cheers to maple cream. So good. And the Deerfield Valley. Mm.
Back to Mount Snow's uh, Kelly Clark, five-time Olympian, yes. three-time medalist, the first athlete from Mount Snow to win an Olympic gold medal. Very impressive. They are very proud of that, I'm too. Sure. <laughs> and back to the Hermitage Inn, they also have a skating ring, a, a trout pond, a spa treatment area, and a sauna. They have plans to open up, uh, build a pool, and a pickleball courts as well. Room rates start during the off-season at $350, and of course, they increase during the height of the ski, ski season. Of course. I